Scotch. Four dummies. Four dummies. Four dummies. Just four guys on a journey through the world of Scotch to help you make better decisions in your journey through Scotch. There it is. Absolutely. What we got today? What do we have today? Today, Glenn Murray. Glenn Murray. I got an education last time we had this on here that's <laughs> really not Glenn Murray. Glenn Murray. It, it Glenn Murray. Say it. Uh, but today, we've got the Elgin Classic uh, Sherry Cask Finish. And this was sent to us by our good friend Andy. Andy. Yep. Thank Andy you. Andy Reed. Yep. Um, looking forward to having you back on the show, Andy. Uh, especially to talk about this, but we're going to review it. Oh, Absolutely. So, bad boy talk to me oh, about yeah, so, this. So the uh, Elgin Classic Series is, is uh, Glenn Murray's non-age profile. They typically um, will kind of offset them by doing different finishes on them because they know that they're not going to be, you know, twenty-year-old scotch. They're all they're not age. So what they did here is they took um, most of their material that they keep in ex bourbon casks, and then they put it in seven months in a um, Oloroso sherry cask. So we're going to pick up some of that Oloroso sherry sweetness out of it. Um, I, you know, I don't know. We have you saw. Well, I guess we just um, tore Thanks, open sir. the. Uh, the bottle a few minutes ago, so we have not tasted this. This is a pure blind taste. Um, if you have this cat, have this bottle, open it up. We're gonna try it for the first time together. Absolutely. Um, uh, I'm intrigued by this one. I know the last time we had one, uh, it, it's a very light, easy drinking yes. scotch. Um, yeah. So as far as like Glen Murrah, they're a Highland. They're right at the very north end of, or of the of the Speyside region. Um, and they've been they make actually a huge amount of material. Like Do they three really? Melting liters a year. Oh my god! So I think I, I'm standing some of it maybe for blends, but it's a it's a high volume distillery. We have 40 percent ABV. Um, I'm gonna assume chill filtering and added color because it doesn't specify uh, right. otherwise. It's pretty and, golden. And it's an entry level, so I'm, I'm not surprised if they do. Yeah. Uh, what's price point in the states? Oh. Uh, it's around thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Yeah, really? it's, it's well, a yeah, okay. it's like thirty. Four. I was no, going to say, I was, thought you said it was 27 pounds overseas. I saw overseas. it between 22 and 27 pounds. I did not look up the U.S. price, so it's going right. to be in that 30 to $40. Right. right. It's right. got a yeah. nice, sweet, fruity nose. It does. Does, it, does. it really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the Cranberries honestly, even. for an entry-level scotch, I don't usually expect a whole lot, especially on the nose. Mm -hmm. You know, usually you might get some sugar or, you know, just... Kind of unidimensional. This actually kind of packs a little punch on the uh, coats the inside of the glass nose. well. Yeah, I've got cranberries and a little bit of raisin and dried fruits. I get Sweet like honeysuckle. Sugar. Yeah. Yeah. I was getting some floral on it, and that's yeah. probably that honey. And it's it's definitely got that honey I sweet. Know, I got I got lemon rind. Yeah, there's lemon? a citrusy component in there yeah. too. Down in the bottom. Not smelling any alcohol, really. Mm -mm. 40%, uh, that's not surprised that it's not going to have that strong punch in the nose alcohol. That's sweet. sweet. That's sweet. interesting. Yeah. That's sweet. sweet. It is. It's, There's um, a little bit of alcohol, but not much there. It smells a bit tangy still. Really short uh, finish. The, like really yeah, short. it's really short, and for all of the, the nice, fragrant stuff I was getting on the nose, I don't get quite as much of it on the palate. Mm -hmm. I was expecting a lot more succulent fruits, I guess. It's a very, it's a very soft, sweet hitter. Very soft. That was the word that was on my tongue when you said it. I soft. would say that you're getting, it's, it's been in the sherry casks long enough to get some of the aromas pulled out and, and the aromatics you're getting on the nose, but it wasn't in there long enough to really impart a whole lot of that sherry yeah. flavor. And that flavor. leaves me with the question of, do we know anything about the sherry casks? Are they first, second, third, you know? I do not have that information. Right. The information is out there, I don't remember what it is. Uh, I'm, I'm likely to think that these are definitely like second or third fill sherry. Well, I don't know, because they're, they're only finishing them for a few months. I know. Seven months, though, They you would think, if they were seven months in a first fill, they wouldn't need to add coloring. Mm -hmm. Right. I would say, though, that... Uh, it's indicative of a nice Highland Scotch, you know. It's, oh, I definitely it's think got it's got that the nice quality. fruity characteristics. You know, it's yeah. it's, it's a nice it's every day. If you spent thirty bucks on it, you wouldn't feel ripped no, off in absolutely. any way, shape, or form. You know, I smell it in the nose now a little bit, just a hint of it, and I actually enjoy it with the taste. It's a little almond, a little marzipan. I got that in the nose. Really? Mm -hmm. Now that I know what it is, thanks to Sean, <laughs> I'll give you that one. I, I, I get it. It's just a hint. A hint of it. So I'm losing a little bit of the of the sweetness as I, as I kind of 
coats my palate and airs out a little bit. We lose some of the nose. I'm going to add a little water. I know it's going to kill it. Yeah, I need to add it too. You know, I almost get a, a hint of like a, a soft spray of, of strawberry. It is, uh, so the other thing about Highlands and Speyside, you get that floral, that light. Yeah. You know, this yeah. Is a, yeah, this would be like a good summer scotch. It's light. It's not uh, that, it's I would agree water. with you that the nose is starting to, to dissipate Fade. just a little bit. Yeah. Um, the palate is actually holding pretty steady for me at this point. I think the water is going to... But you never know. You never know. That's okay. why we put it in there. You know, I think this is a very approachable entry-level scotch. 35 bucks, too. I mean, I mean, for someone who's not a, a whiskey drinker, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, what are absolutely. you doing? You know, let me have a sip of that. Well, you don't want to pour them your $250, $300 bottle because they're just going to shoot it or, or throw it I out. Don't, I don't want to pour you my $250, $300 bottle. <laughs> Thanks a lot, brother. I mean, I that's, not, love. that's not to say I won't. I'm just saying. Because I don't want to. The nose is actually... With water on it, it's about the same. I mean, it's a little lighter. I think it's because it's just... I went, period, oak out of I went yeah. really light on the water. It's I got just, pear. Mm. Yeah. I'm letting it kind of yeah, do its you thing a little it bit. but Settle. That's why they, they oh, marry it. Oh, is. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Water, <laughs> water just killed it. I mean, what, 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 what flavor a, I had in there? We need a uh, still shot of that. <laughs> yeah. um, I knew it was coming because it's a very, it's a very soft light. You know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and go. Actually, you guys ready for me to go? Yeah, have at it, man. So what do you think? we hit, we hit basically the big, the big hitters here. It's very soft. It's a little fruity in the nose, especially when you first open it up. When it dissipates a little bit, it kind of gets weakened on the nose. Um, I, I enjoyed the nose. I thought it was pleasant. Very light, nice, easy smell. Palette, same way, very soft, very light, fruity, very everyday dram. Not going to be sorry for drinking this one for 35 bucks. It's going to no. be one. You know what? I go to my, my bottom shelf. I'm drinking this one because I want a little bit of sweetness. This is a good one. I agree with you 100%. This is a really good scotch for somebody that doesn't really get into scotch or is trying to get into scotch that likes yeah. some sweet stuff. It's a nice little soft hitter for that one. I think for the price and the value, I think it's a 2.5 because I like that approach to it. Okay. If, I, if I'm going solely from taste, I'm going to knock it down. But the price and everything you're giving out of this one, I think it's a go-get. It's a good hitter. value. Yeah, I think it really It is. is a good value. All right. Um, I was, I'm was i kind of torn, so I'm going to try and talk through it just a little bit and see where I end up. Um, neat. The nose, I was really surprised, like very surprised. I was not expecting it to be that pungent of a scotch and it really took me off guard um lots of floral and sweet smells that you would associate with a nice space cider highland scotch um nothing off-putting about it whatsoever uh the the flavor profile it wasn't quite what i had hoped it would be based off of the nose um it smelled like it was going to be a little more complex and it ended up to be fairly unidimensional but not, again, nothing off-putting. The water kind of took away a little bit of that, what flavor there was. Um, but the nose was still there. And so the nose I found extremely pleasant with and without water. Palette, um, not great, but, you know, it's an entry-level scotch, so I'm not, not going right. to really ding it too hard for that. But I think, uh, to Drew's point, the price point, I'm not upset spending $35 no. on this bottle whatsoever. Uh, it's a nice one to have around for entry-level scotch drinkers. You could even mix this one. This yeah. would be a scotch and soda kind yeah. of Old kind of scotch yeah. that right. I wouldn't feel bad about if you wanted like a nicer scotch right. and soda. Like you it. know what I mean? So I, I think I just talked myself into a two five on this oh, one, yeah, just okay. solely based off of you know it's it's a nice scotch and the price point is good. All right, um, I know you guys are gonna laugh but after I put the water on it and the nose. I close my eyes and just what's gonna come to mind? What's gonna come to mind? I swear to God, I smell watermelon. But anyway, <laughs> I'm probably off cue on that. Um, obviously, ditto what you guys said. I think I'm going to start off right at the two, 2 2.0 because to me, that's exactly, this is just a really middle of the road. Um, smelled pleasant, didn't give me anything on the palate, and good or bad. I mean, it's just a soft drinking whiskey, and that's, that's easy enough. I think 40% doesn't hold any water. That, that just, there was nothing after the water on the palate for me. Um, but for 35 bucks, I'm taking this one in the boat fishing, and it ain't coming home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? I'm not feeling guilty at all, right? Um, so it, to me, it's just it's a real middle-of-the-road, entry-level, easy-drinking whiskey that I would like to share with some people to maybe try to spark their interest a little bit. So I'm going to stick right at two because that's the middle of the road for me, and that's what this thing did for me. So There you go. 
Bring it yes. home. Bring it home. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with a two zero on this. Um, it's a high two zero because of the, the you know the cheap guy that I am. I can't ignore the value of this. <laughs> it, it, it's really good value. Um, it's it's nothing spectacular from my wheelhouse, you know, obviously. But um, but the the thing that I don't have here is there's nothing off putting. I don't have anything any reason I wouldn't drink this. You know, if you get some sour flavors or really high alcohol burn or something, it's just like it's not worth it. This one is always worth it. So, you know, I got to say a 2.0 is maybe a little soft. Maybe it should be a little higher, but I can't go to 2.5. So I'm going to go with 2 oh on this. Well, that's you know easy what? Math. Yep. I'm not changing my score, but I do got to give you a little bit more credit here, Drew. I mean, honestly, after getting through this and let this. I, I, I like I'm, credit. I, 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 I did honestly, get marzipan. I, uh, that's what I was going with. Honestly, I, I'm putting my nose back in it, and as I'm taking in my nose, I'm trying to breathe in a little bit through my mouth a little bit. And, and honestly, I'm like, I'll be doggone. There's that almond marzipan, mm-hmm. and I maybe a little. You said vanilla. It is. Right and I'm like, yeah. I almost got some vanilla caramel going on. Even, Where did that come yeah. from, right? And. So I didn't get that. In the, heck, I was smelling watermelon two minutes ago. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know what so you ate before, before you came over here. The, nose, the, the nose is even better now, I think, than it was originally with the water, but the really? palate is a little weaker. So overall, guys, I think good value is what we're saying. Yeah, it is a 2. good value. Yeah, I, mean, and I, I think that's right that's where it needs out. to be. No, I'm staying on it. All right, guys, there it is. Reminder, every Thursday we are live. Make sure you hit the like, pound, the subscribe button. Appreciate you guys. Anything Thanks for else? watching. 2.25. Wow. Thanks for watching, everybody.